Good afternoon. It's Tuesday, February 22nd, 2011. I'm Jill Sealand with your Erner Berry Market Report, sponsored by NAM's sixth edition Meat Buyer's Guide. Today, foodmarket.com is reporting corn advanced to the highest level since July 2008, and soybeans gained on speculation. A crude oil rally may increase demand for alternative fuel. May delivery corn jumped as much as 3.3 percent, the highest price since July 7, 2008, on the Chicago Board of Trade. You can get more on this story and other news from the center of the plate at foodmarket.com. Now, let's see what's going on in the market. Looking at poultry in the chicken market, wogs and whole birds are mostly steady with offerings in close balance with immediate needs. Whole breasts are manageable while fronts are being tested in spots. Tenders appear to be garnering a more so, active call with buyers so described as being more aggressive. Dark meat is in good standing in large part due to exposure to export markets. Wings continue to search for a bottom. Talking turkey, indications of additional strength to drums are numerous with frozen sales confirmed for domestic and export use at up money. Today's quotations are likely higher. Necks are steady to barely steady and possibly lower. Tom 2 joints are at least steady to full steady and here we're finding a big export influence. Raw materials are well maintained with breast trim, scapula and thigh meat, especially snug. In the egg market, shell egg demand at the retail level is slowing from last week. Supplies of jumbos, extra large and mediums are readily available and coming under pressure. Offerings of shell eggs into breaker channels have increased somewhat. Moving over to red meats, looking at the livestock, dairy and poultry outlook from the Economic Research Service, here's market reporter Joel Muldowney reporting on the ERS's forecast for red meat in 2011. Thanks, Joel. Looking at the livestock outlook put out by the ERS last week, they say the factors that suggest the potential for higher prices for cattle and ultimately for beef in 2011 and beyond include reduced supplies of feeder cattle for placement later this year, high grain prices, dry conditions in the southern U.S. that could affect both pasture and crops later this year, high demand for domestic processing beef, and increased export demand for beef in part due to a weak dollar. Back to you, Jill. Thank you, Joe. Looking at pork, the direct hog markets are called mostly flat to somewhat higher. Trade in the terminal markets is rated steady. For the most part, the processing pork markets appear to be well supported by the recent reductions in daily slaughter. Hams and bellies are both limited in supply and rate steady to firm. Trimmings, however, are under a bit of pressure and lean product could see some dis discounting. Retail products are called generally sideways. Both butts and spare ribs are expected co to continue trading in rather wide ranges. Spare ribs appear to be showing a bit of strength, which could result in additional premiums. That's your Erner Berry Market Report, brought to you today on Comtel by NAMP's 6th edition Meat Buyer's Guide.